Now in this first part, what we've got to do is decide on the kind of distribution it is. And it's got to be a Poisson distribution because we've got the daisies are scattered at random at a mean rate in an interval of space. That space is the space of a square. So I've defined my random variable, let x be the random variable number of daisies per square where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with mean of 3. And we're asked to work out then the probability that the number of daisies per square is greater than 2. So x has got to be greater than 2. And to work that out, we could do 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. And we've got various ways that we can work this out. We can use the commutative Poisson distribution tables. And if you did, they look something like this just show you and you'd look under the mean of lambda being 3 and look down to 2 where x is 2 and this gives us the probability of being less than or equal to 2 so that'd be 1 minus 0 0.4232 and if you work that out you end up with 0 0.5768 but you had an alternative way of establishing the probability x is less than or equal to 2 you could have carried on and just said well okay this is 1 minus the probability that x equals 0 plus the probability x equals 1 plus the probability x equals 2. And when it comes to working out those probabilities you should be familiar with the particular way that we can work out the probabilities from a Poisson distribution through this formula here. So if you were doing the probability that x equals 0 it would be e to the minus lambda lambda being 3, so e to the minus 3, multiplied by 3 to the power 0, well that's going to be 1, over 0 factorial, well again that's 1. So you've got e to the minus 3 for the probability of x equaling 0, plus the probability that x equals 1, so that will be e to the minus 3, lambda being 3 to the power 1 over 1 factorial. And then finally, plus the probability that x equals 2, which would be e to the minus 3, and then the mean, lambda, 3 to the power 2 over 2 factorial. So you've got that alternative way of working it out. I think the tables, though, are obviously the easier version. And for part b, we've got to work out the probability that x equals 5 or 6. So to do that we've got two options again. We can either do this kind of thing, work out the probabilities individually and add them together or we could use the commutative distribution tables. And if we do then we're going to need to work out the probability that x is less than or equal to 6 and take away the probability that x is less than or equal to 4. So that will leave us just with 5 and 6. So if we're using tables then, we've just got to look up what 4 is. And if you look up 4, the probability of being less than it is 0 0.8153. And for 6, just look along the 6 here, you'll find it says 0.9665. So if we put those values in 0.9665 minus being less than 4 or equal to 4 is 0.8153. When we work that out you get 0.1512. Or as I say you could do it just by working out the probability x equals 5 and 6 and add them together using this formula. Okay?